Okay, I have four of these uh, hydrogen peroxide technical bulletins. This one's uh, from FMC, and it goes to 70% hydrogen peroxide. This one here is technical bulletin 46, and uh, these are hard to get. This is from FMC. They're, they don't do it anymore. You can see it says bulletin number 46 there. It's actually from the uh, Chemical Manufacturers Association, Manufacturing Chemists Association. This here is uh, the introduction. Uh, most of these came with a uh, technical bulletin 46. Usually came with a postcard or something inside the front cover, and you would sign it, and it was a waiver of liability. <clears throat> And you can send that in and uh, get a sample. And then this is the heart of this. This tells the energy content, um, specific gravity, weight of a gallon, boiling point, freezing point, viscosity, refractive index, dielectric constant, um, volume strength, uh, grams hydrogen peroxide per liter, this here is energy content uh, under adiabatic conditions. The calculated temperature of these products is 740 degrees centigrade, and their calculated volume is about 5,000 liters at this temperature in one atmosphere. This system has obvious possibilities as a source of power or heat. Um, let's see. This is the best part. Is uh, it tells here um, 70, 90, 98 percent used by NASA in the military. I was licensed by NASA. I know they. Uh, let's see. It says that hydrogen peroxide decomposition is an exothermic reaction. Upon complete decomposition, one liter of 90 percent peroxide yields 589 grams of oxygen gas and 801 grams of steam. So, has a 5,000 to 1 expansion ratio. So, this seems potent and stuff to me. <clears throat> I can tell there's a significant increase between 70% and 90% uh, in energy content or... Uh, you know, I'm not the chemist here. I just read this stuff. I have to go ask. Okay. I just figured I'd show you this.